This is going to feel different to the other proofs you've done. So it's called the intersecting chords theorem. And what it says is that if you draw two chords through a circle, so forget the center, chords don't have to pass through the center, but they do intersect, okay? There's a point here where they intersect. What we can say is that this length times this length, so A times B, will be equal to C times D. And that's what we're trying to prove. No matter where you draw those chords, as long as they intersect, this times this will be equal to that times that. Really cool, and it relies on similar triangles. The first step here, I'm just going to label it all up. Capital A, B, C, D for our points around the outside, and E here, not the center of the circle. All right, I'm going to construct some lines between A and B and C and D. Just from that simple construction alone, we're like 95% of the way there. We have a triangle here, we have a triangle here, and I'm going to tell you they're similar. Let's prove it. This angle here and this angle here are the same because they're vertically opposite. What about this angle? This angle. Those angles are the same because they're subtended off the same arc. Now, we can do a similar thing, but we could also say, well, if they're the same and they're the same and they're two triangles, they both have to add up to 180, so these are the same as well. But we could also say, well, this angle is subtended off BC and this angle is subtended off BC, therefore this angle and this angle are the same. They're similar triangles, A, A, A from the angle, angle, angle rule, similar triangles. Now I'm just going to move these triangles off the circle and draw them the same way around and like rotated and reflected the same way around. So I'm going to put point E here and point E here. Okay, now E links up to point A, so I'll put point A here. Um, now we need to be a bit careful here. E links up to A and A is like the three, the three dashes, which means that uh, over this triangle, D is the three dashes. So I'm going to put D there. Uh, this is going to make sense in a minute, I think. Uh, okay, so we have A and E, and then lining up with B here. Okay. And obviously this one has C there. Now, I just need to make sure I've drawn these triangles correctly. Now, E has this one here. Uh, e has that one there. Now, from E to C, C has the, like, double dot one there, and uh, B has the, the double dash, double dash, double dash. And then A has the triple dash, and D has the triple dash. Now, they're not the same size. I've drawn them about the same size. They're not the same size. One's bigger and smaller than the other, but they are similar because all their angles are the same. All right, now uh, let's label these things here. A to E, that's my lowercase a. E to B, that's my lowercase c. Okay, and then E to D, that's D. And E to C, E to C, that's B. Now this is kind of an optional step here, but I really need to show you what's going on. All right, so what we can say, because these triangles are similar, is that the ratio of this side to this side, C to B, is going to be equal to the ratio of this side to this side, A to D, because they're similar. All right, if that's true, we can rearrange that to say that AB equals CD. AB equals CD. That snuck up on us. That's the proof. That's it. Done. All right, I'm just going to formalize it a little bit. First thing I did was construct line AB and line CD so I'd have two triangles. Next, I looked at those angles and saw that they were the same. They were the same because they were vertically opposite, so I lined two little angles in there. Okay, from there, I could say that angle ABD and angle ACD were the same. Because of this little bow tie here or multiple mountain or whatever you want to call this theorem here, angles subtended off the same arc. And we can say the same for angle BAC and BDC. Now that we've done that, we can say that triangle AB, ABE and triangle CED are similar because of the AAA rule, the angle, angle, angle rule. Now you just want to use a little bit of caution here and make sure that you put the letters in the right order. A, B, E, D, C, E. Not alphabetical order, but you need to make sure that the order you do them there is the same as the order there in terms of similarity, in terms of 
Well, that's the three dasher, so that's the three dasher, followed by the two dasher, followed by the one dasher. Okay, and from there, we can finish it off with this here. Now, remember, this drawing, it's kind of like just extra work. I just wanted to show you that they were similar. And so now we can say that, therefore, C on B equals A on D. You don't have to write any reason there, because we already know that they're similar triangles, and similar triangles have... Uh, the, the same sides are in the same ratio. And we'll just finish off here by saying that uh, C, D equals A, B. And you can put a little celebratory Q, E, D in there if you want. All right, uh, those are the, that is the intersecting chords theorem. You can see it relies on similar triangles. And the hint is that something times something equals something times something can be rearranged as this ratio style thing.